Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello, I'm Lydia. <laughs> Why is my window open? Who opened my window? And why? So today is a requested video from here. So I thought we would do that video today. Now, if you've followed my channel for a long time, you will know that I've had some involvement with the police and my mental health. There's one incident I'm not going to talk about today, and that is when I got arrested. Because yes, it's mental health related, and it was traumatising. I still haven't gone over it. I don't want to trigger myself. So aside from that, I'm going to be talking about my good and bad experiences with mental health and the police. Before I jump into this video, I'm going to put a trigger warning for suicide attempts because it's kind of how they became involved. I don't want this to be something that's used as a tool to give people ideas. I'm only sharing these details because it's an experience with police. So if you think you'll be triggered by anything I have to say regarding attempts on my life, please click off this video now. So let's start with the most traumatising one, to me anyway, that I've been through. Now I was living in Surbiton, so it's about three years ago now, and I, and I went and climbed over the other side of a bridge because I really was done. And then two police officers came running up behind me and pulled me over backwards and put me on the floor with my hands behind my back and said, Lydia, you're detaining you under the section 136 of the mental health act. And when we got in the ambulance, they put leg restraints on me because I kept trying to get up and leave because I didn't want I didn't want help. If I wanted help, I would have seen seeked it. I wanted to die. But the only leg restraints were on were so restrictive and it reminded me so much of when I got arrested because this is something that was used on me again. So it is easily the most traumatising attempt. When we was in hospital they wouldn't take the leg restraints off until I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> they didn't want to carry me there. <laughs> Having to piss in front of a police officer is something. You will never get used to it. <laughs> Another uh, one would be when I lived in Lancashire. I mean, Lancashire, most of you, you know this, I used to go out drinking pretty much on the daily and I drank a lot. My alcohol tolerance was pretty good. I never threw up because of alcohol. I've never thrown up because of alcohol. Uh, I, I, I just, I passed out a lot. But anyway, I collapsed outside a police station. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. I passed out outside a police station and from what I've been told by police officers is they found me unconscious, no one with me, thanks friends. This is why I don't have friends. Yeah, the police sectioned me for being intoxicated on my medication, which I shouldn't have been drinking on. I can't drink now and I, I really want a vodka coke or an Archer's and lemonade. That would be nice. But yeah, they took me to A&E, she cuffed me to the bed, both sides. Another time we have is when I got took straight to a 136 suite, which I'll try and find a picture of to put here. A 136 suite is a place of safety that only people on section 136 can be taken. They ended up sedating me once I arrived because I was psychotic and manic and about ready to punch a window thinking I was invincible. I didn't get to punch the window. I have a lot of experience when it comes to police and mental health so if you want me to make a third part of this let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions about Lancashire police let me know. If you need questions about Met police let me know. Two different police forces so, you got your peer. I remember once when I was living in Wembley, five years ago? Five years ago. And I, I left the flat because they said that I wanted fresh air. And the police said they wasn't going to section me. And I got outside the building. And I thought, is that what happens? Lydia was detaining you under section 136 of the Mental Health Act. But yeah, that's all I've got for this video. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in my next one. Peace.